Mm-hmm. Five and let's get started. Going on, pirates. Oi, what's going on, man? Did you get arrested? You all good? Tell us what happened, man. Mmm, cloudy, mate. Cloudy, you need to stop arresting people, mate. Well, that's part of the community. Szechuan. The mad wind gully coming through. <laughs> uh, it's like a wind tunnel under my fucking uh, shearing shed. <laughs> it's fucking hectic. You just hear like, <laughs> you go know, from the fucking wind. Hell spooky, man. If I fucking trip and pick. Oh, man, that's gonna be cool. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> it Ah, yeah, right. Don't be doing that, mate. Fucking <laughs> hell. Yeah, fucking. I guess that you said it was four hours. <laughs> was it a quarter pound or a four, four pounds? <laughs> Thought it was two, but apparently four. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's a fucking pro tip. I know you've already learnt the lesson, but if anyone asks you to hold anything for them, they're off. Don't get fucked. Well, I never watch shit for anybody. It's just a fucking shit magnet. You know what I mean? Always a fucking set up. Yeah, yeah, D- different panda, it's different, different mate, I was very honest with the fact that I had, I had AFP breathing down my neck when I gave you that shit. <laughs> I was like, hey man, I've got AFP on my ass, if you want this stuff here, you can have it, but I understand if you don't. Oh, 
how much they sting you for, like the fines and stuff, mate, or are they going to try to do you in court? This is fucking going to be rough as. You won't do well in prison, Tyrus, mate. Got no hair on your body, you know, it's fucking, you know, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. A little naked ball rat. <laughs> You ever seen those mole rats? They're still thinking about chat. Yeah, right. I'm gonna send you some. I'll look at the splitting. Get that ass up. What they change in great. Cloudy is such a troll, bro. I don't think Cloudy believes anything that Flory says, but like I'm pretty sure I watched him get arrested on, on the stream, so I know that happened. This is shit stare. I think they think uh Gray slacks look way better on him, Cloudy. I'm gonna find my phone, Ben, that was it. <laughs> Cloudy, I'm skeptical of you, mate, and your fucking clean bong, mate. Like, don't be skeptical of other people, mate. You still gotta prove yourself. Hey, fucking headscape. Bong's too clean, mate. Don't trust it. Send me the photo or what? Oh, fucking. Yep, there it is. Wouldn't worry about it. Panda, looks cool. Um, probably just, yeah, split itself open. Sometimes that happens if they get, if they suck too much water, that'll split open. Panda, mate, are you still fucking smoking straighties? Straight greens. I made up. You ran up once. You ran up once, bro. Shut up. You ran up. Back off. <laughs> nah, I'm giving you shit. I'm giving you shit, Cloudy. I know you're real. That's how I know your bong's too clean. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, Cloudy, you only jump up at like fucking 4 a.m. when nobody else is up, though. Uh, not sure why. I don't think you sleep, eh? I think Cloudy is actually two people. Cloudy is um, fucking Bogan Hunter. Well, yeah, didn't you know? It's true. So Google, he doesn't fucking take photos of you. He's a werewolf. Yeah, Taurus, all right, mate. Fucking stop watching fucking Twilight, all right. Um, JP, good to see you, mate. Uh, fuck, I feel bad for Taurus. He just gets roasted. Uh, he's a good kid, though. Good lad. Yeah, you your fucking butt hole, Daddy. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I felt like too, bro. Oh, that's what I felt like too, bro. Yeah, I, I find that if I don't have at, le at least a little bit of tobacco in my mix, it just doesn't romp me the same. Sunshine, rainbows, and fucking quaaludes qua over here. What's going on, mate? Good to see you, Sunshine. What's Twilight? Don't worry about it, mate. A bit before your time. If you had an older sister, that's like fucking... 25 right now, you probably fucking, you probably know what four light is. Where the fuck's my lighter? Found it. Found it. Sunshine and quaaludes, mate. That sounds like fun to me. Anyone here tried quaaludes? <laughs> They're quite good. <laughs> They're quite good. It's like sleeping on a cloud cap. Yeah, they made them illegal because everyone wanted to stay home and do quail loots and not go to work. It's a sedative, bro. You got a bar behind you? Sort of. My kitchen, bro. Got the missile taking a fucking. Okay. Get back in the paddock, bro. Oh, yeah, there is a bar in the paddock. Yeah, yeah, there is. I fucking forgot about that. Yeah, I've got a bar. I forget about that. I'll show you. Oh, hey, for shit. Horace, you haven't seen my farm. It's fucking, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I got me fucking water tank over here. Oh, yeah. Cactus garden. You shit. I've been fucking plants I'm working on. Cactus garden. Farms that I'm working on. Two fucking cars. Go to my bar, right? Oh. oh, fucking my sheep are in the fucking duck pen right now. I don't know if you can see them. Stop eating my fucking ducks, fucking grain, you cunts. Eh, eh, fucking cunts. Oi, oi, Pete, what are you doing? Anyways. Hey, here's my bar. It's a bit of a fucking dingy bar. Gotta do some work on it. 
It's called the dry udder. The dry udder. Beautiful little bus. You know, if I have any fucking silly blunt of his, I don't think I'm going to fix it up. <laughs> but yeah, nice little fucking, nice little bar right there. Fucking beautiful. Fairy range, huh? Fairy range, all my ducks and shoot a fairy range. Where's Frederick? Make sure Frederick doesn't fuck off over a fence or something. Ugh. Fucking puppy dog just chilling. But yeah, I got the I guess brothers in laws coming down for a couple of days. So I gotta sort out the shed so I can make sure it's not a big star for them, make sure so they can fucking stay in there for a couple of days. Fucking walk it on gravel. No. <laughs> And it's not too bad in the summer when you walk on gravel because it's warm, but when you're doing it in winter, it hurts. With the cold and shit. They are, they are eating sheep. Technically, those ones are breeding sheep. Um, so I've got, I've got a male Damara across Dorps. Come on. So we got a male, male Damara across Dorper, and then two female Damara across Dorpers. We got Bedscape. I fucking knew I heard something back there. Go on, I'm hey. like. How you go? How dirty is it? This is probably the dirtiest you're gonna see it. Fuck about it. the same. About uh, the same. Yeah, yeah. Your stems right. a bit cleaner than me. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Right. Cheers, you, cheers chat oh just I'm, I'm good i'm good how are you yeah man just chilling just chilling let's just jump it up for a quick one everyone oh, thinking everyone's thinking up the bot again so i'm like yeah <laughs> okay might as well nah, let me jump and, shit, mate. and show him my dirty bong <laughs> yeah i'm a little less sus on you now <laughs> Well, there you have it. Way to go. <laughs> Way to do some shit. Anyway, I'm gonna jump up, pull your IP. Whoa. <laughs> Peace, chat. Peace, safer. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, mate. Jump up here, mate. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. So I got the two females and the male for breeding purposes so hopefully they pop out some fucking some lambs for me and that they will be on the table in what in six months to a year after they're born yeah people will go oh I'll fucking bit of a waste the yearling and all that but realistically i can go get a two-year-old lamb for 90 bucks and butcher it <laughs> well, howdy why'd you leave bro Bro, he's got his IP puller up. Come on now, lad, don't be scared. <laughs> it's only why, <wire> shark. <laughs> See, bro, Maybe. have a look. Just jump up, have a Cloudy. Look. Jump up, bro. <laughs> well, you show my IP, you dumb cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm fucking playing. I'll find out where he is. Next minute, fucking police headquarters IP match. We got him. 
<laughs> yeah, I could have a, I could have a lot of merino sheep, but the problem is I don't want to shear them and the meat shit on them, so I'm not, I'm not bothering with them. Mm. Remove that fucking. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> now nah, you're all loose. You're showing my stuff. Yeah. I was just, I was just wanted him to jump up, bro. I was so close, lad. I'm like, oi, we got him. I was fucking almost had him, bro. Almost had him. Well, that I care. People can DDoS me, dude. I, I live at a farm. You think I it's care even about, about DDoSing, bro? It's about oh, figuring out who the fuck the trolls are. Yeah. That's all. Well, like, you can find out where I live, too. Like, you want to drive six hours to come see me, I'll fuck you in the ass, too. Like, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a commitment, dude. Like, I, I won't use Lou. Just fucking, just a little bit of spit. Sounds rough. <laughs> Thirteen reasons why. Thirteen reasons. With the bruise, why. you saying that shit? What's that? Thirteen reasons why where they fucking raped that kid with a broom. Whoa. Yeah, on fucking a t on like a TV show for kids what? or teenagers. Yeah. That's hectic. Bro. Well, the whole thing's get suicide, so what do you expect? I don't think it was about a broom, though. Pretty sure. No, it was just like no. So she, she got, she got, fucking, she got graped by a, a couple of blokes, and then, yeah, the bloke that was trying to like, figure out who did it got yeah. raped. Boy, I found a whole bunch of cool fucking seeds online, bro, in this seed bank. And uh, well, we got Medi seed, Medi seed man. And he's got like a whole bunch of seeds on there, man. Like Z Kittles, Autos, fucking grapefruit crosses, uh, 100% indicas. Yeah. Uh, it looks really nice. And like 11 pops, is 11 bucks of seeds. No, I thought you were talking about cool seeds. You're talking about cannabis, aren't you? Fuck. Yeah. Heirlooms, too, mate. <laughs> Taurus, why you say that? Why you say today that you didn't get charged? But last night you said, were. Takes the rest of me in charge of distribution of control substance and supplying Monty. Monty. Mm. Monty. Afternoon, boys. What's going on, mate? Oh, just killing time, waiting until I have my medical appointment with me for a new cannabis doctor for the death route DVA, VBA. Oh, that's my fucking. Yeah, guys, I need fucking an ounce a week minimum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If Definitely. you said you're going to arrest the charge of distribution supply and a minor, then. They're either watching you, seeing what you're going to do next, or you snitched and they let you out. I don't know. Not many drug dealers get bail for selling to kids, so. Well, minors, whatever. Um, Normally they got to release someone until they have the charges laid out, they don't just hold on to you. <laughs> so what they'll do is they'll process you, they'll bring you in, process you, say this is what we're going to try to charge you with. I can ask you and a bunch get of the questions. Statement. And get the statement. Yes. Fucking, yeah, keep your phone for a couple of days and then they'll drop the brief off with all the charges fucking usually a couple of days to a week later. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you wouldn't have been charged yet. And they'll be fucking still finding out how many they can charge him with. Let's not be calling people snitches and stuff like that. Like, especially with like, is he going to sneak on a snitch on the boys in the community? Oh, there's a bunch well, of guys on the internet. Oh, you've been arrested, away. charged, and then let out, you've snitched. That's fact. Right? Yeah, but he wouldn't have been charged. For those, yet, for those sorts of charges, bro, you're not getting let out. Right? You're in, you're in fucking, you're either held in remand to your next court date, whatever it be, bro, but you usually refuse bail for the most part. Rhymes off his salary, bro. Of selling to minors, distribution of a controlled substance, all that in the same sentence. You're not getting bail, bro. Oh, they'll give you bail usually. It's not for yeah. no, they don't even you don't even pass straight. Like if you get done while you're on bail, you have to see the judge before you get getting out of fucking themselves because you're already even on bail. Like, the only time you have to go to court, get, court get, and fucking yeah. You know what I mean? Those if you refuse that, like, bail, yeah, to be refused bail, you've got to be exactly. doing something pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be at a risk of running, a flea risk, basically. Or risk of hurting other people again, like if that's what you've already done. 
the odd say that they're still fucking, they're still trying to add shit to that charge before they drop off their fucking bag to them, you know? And usually let you go as soon as you've been through the interview. They'll let you go and then come and drop off whatever charges they're fucking Get a fucking good lawyer, cunt. Get a good lawyer. And honestly, mate, if your mate set you up, fuck him over, (laughs) in my opinion. Kick his fucking teeth in. Put it in his bum. Yeah, like fucking simple, mate. Like if he's gonna, if if what you're saying is true, some cunts put his weed in your house. Fucking let the, let the fucking cunts get on you. I'll, I'll, I'll ask trust him you to you. hold it. Ask him to hold I'll it. Trust and I'll trust you to you what you're saying, bro. If this, this is all factual, you need to go kick the shit out of that guy and then go back on him. To be honest. <laughs> Break people's kneecaps for it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bother to get uh, their hands through the pops like he did. If it's you versus the state, or whatever. If it's you uh, versus the state, break kneecaps. Oh, video cameras are an excellent thing, one too. All you got to do is beat the fuck out of him off camera. Get the camera out yep. and they're like, hey, mate, did you, uh, did you drop that weed off at my house? <laughs> yeah, of course you did, didn't you? Sunday, I voted for it. Can't see broken kneecaps if you're recording shoulder up, can you? <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. I'm surprised cops even waste it. Oh, it's a oh, yeah. It's just weed for miners, I suppose. Maybe cops give a fuck. Depends on how young those miners are. Um, they got to have proof of industry miners too, don't they? Yeah, text messages and shit is enough. Yeah. True. Yeah, don't be something miners. <laughs> I can't talk. I was getting, I was getting weird at a young age, but yeah, weren't we all? That's the thing. Like fucking, it's a fucking fine line between someone who's seventeen months and ten, like seventeen years and ten months, right? A couple of months of being eighteen, and you're selling to that person, like when you're eighteen, like because you're a couple of months or six months older than your mate, like that's yeah. a fucking real area, like. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't. I was getting more than way to the age of 14, 15, wanting, you know what I mean? Same. Adults. Same. Yeah, same. From adults, and then I was selling it to the cunts at school. Mate, we'd walk the streets in a big group, mate, and just fucking see some cunt fucking standing underneath the street light or fucking underneath the shade at the front of the house, and just fucking one of you, you'd send pick one of the group to go up and fucking hit the cunt up. You'd just wander until you fucking wander around, hit the cunts up until you run. <laughs> It was me when I was down saying, bro, I was getting from all the adults and shit, lads on home D, LSD, fucking MDMA. And like, I'd kind of, I'd be like, all right, you just go wait over there, bro. I had a mate roll up to my dealer's house one time unannounced, like one of my schoolmates. And my dealer fucking, he, he rang me. He's like, oh, he can't, how the fuck does this lad know where I live? I'm like, oh, because I bought him to get out. I told him to wait out the front. Why is that? told him to wait out the front and i come to your house one time to get shit and he was with me that's that's a good right. city because that's just rocking up on the door with yeah the yeah I that with my mate i'm <laughs> like you might have fucked this up for everyone you might not be getting acid ever again can't he's like oh, i'm so sorry bro like, i'm like you gotta tell my dealer that now you gotta meet him you know do the introduction this guy was a bit he was a hectic character but i, like, I didn't give a fuck who he was i was just like because lsd bro i was boom i'm in a different world now you know reality was fucking it was hilarious, bro. <laughs> mm. It was just the big funnies. Yeah. Used to be, oh, fucking Taurus, shut up, bro. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you got me saying shit. Taurus, you never smoked weed. You never, sm- you never, you never, you never sold weed. You're a medical patient. <coughs> Fuck. No one, I'm a medical patient. Yeah. Boy, you get off your phone, say that you're streaming to the people. Have some respect for your fans. I don't have fucking fans, got a session, bro. Shush. 
Have some respect for the lads. Come on. Tell us a story. Taurus, when all this is said and done, mate, the best thing you can learn from this is the next time you can have any interactions with them is keep your mouth shut. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> it's a really quick interview when you do it like that too. And then you're out and about, back on. Long walk home, but you can't, never give you the lift home. Always make you walk. <laughs> That's fucked. He's right in here earlier. Heaps of dark grey clouds around here, but no, no rain. Yeah, I was pray I started praying at the weather gods, bro, and it cleared up. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Cheering. I'm like just a yeah. light, so nothing yeah, Monty, too heavy, you know. Monty, you ever had a heifer go crazy after giving birth and go after the calf? No. Yeah, they tell them sometimes. Heard about that. I just watched a video, man. Fucking hectic. That's why they separate them from the mum sometimes, because they don't take to the calf. No, no, let's say like just. Just spat it out and immediately tried to fucking kill it. Yeah? Yeah, the farmer had to, like, grab the calf by the legs and, like, run around and get the fucking cow into another pen at the same time. Like, fucking good job. What the yeah. fuck, stupid cunt of a cow? I'd be killing that one. You don't need to be passing on them kind of jeans. Yeah. What's a hamburger? I've never seen one do that. Fuck, I nearly got fucking some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close the female, uh, the cow was close to giving me a bash, and you're safe for grabbing a calf to check on his eyes. Uh, a little <laughs> fucking punchy little bull calf, fuck, he cried like a girl. Uh, like, kept on crying too. Uh, she's only about a foot and a half from my head. Every time I put, like, look down to have a look at the cow, calf, like, she'd come closer. Like, every time you take your eyes off them, they would got, get a bit more ballsy to try and smash the one. <laughs> What well, the fucking um, sheep about a meter away from me eating grain? Whilst we're chucking them handfuls of grain and they're coming up. Getting better. I keep eating my duck grain, the cunts. Yeah, look who it is. Jimmy Seville, so like so bro. The Beatles. They were there too, bro. It's all fucked, mate. It's all fucked. Yeah, look, those I people... Live underground with Epstein. Underground with Epstein. Underground with Epstein. <laughs> Fucking monsters. And I'm pretty sure he killed himself. Hey. That's day. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Or was killed. Like I'm he was definitely killed. Yeah, or killed he was himself. Killed. He didn't kill himself. I don't think he's underground anywhere with Hitler and all that, you know? Yeah. Boat fuel doesn't melt steel fucking bridges, bro. Never forget it. But they do. You know what does melt steel beams, though? Fairmont. Do you know how do you make Fairmont? With fire. It's magnesium. Tinder and magnesium and then shit like that, and you make Fairmont. Yeah, yeah like a little bit. You still running current fucking will arc out a lot of fucking... I'm going to turn to fucking molten metal. Everyone see the fucking little conspiracy theory they tried to release after that ship plowed the bridge. And they like, oh, look at this end of the bridge. Look, look, that's explosion. Yeah, it's oh, just... Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. I was like, what's 
the there. cables running through the bridge that light the bridge yeah, and stuff, just, and when they snap, they arc out and fucking cause sparks. Like, it's fucking common sense and everything. Ooh, it's demolitions. No, fucking idiots out there. Man. No, they're doing away with your That was the inside job. Right? Yeah, bro. It, was, <laughs> it, was, it was an inside you job. Just do, you just put a bomb on all three beams if you are going to do that. They did. Yeah, exactly. Why would you even worry about fucking involving the ship? <laughs> they'll just, just chuck a little drone out there with a bomb on it and sort it out like that's you know you know you them on, drugs really that ship, right? imagine that how much drugs was on that ship would have been heaps all the drugs mate that was like you're the biggest Colombian cocaine yeah, export ever bro yeah bro yeah bro they dropped the line. Leave the no, ladder they, line. They it's fucking out. Like, I'm sure you were all young and stupid at one stage. Fucking leave the ladder line. And you can learn a lot from this. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Shut up, Sunshine. Uh, fucking hell. Sunshine, shush, mate. Let it go, mate. Right? You're just like, let me just fish more, for more information. Mm. Bro, you're under, you're under investigation, Taurus. Don't be fucking talking in this chat unless it's like, oh, I ride goats when I was a kid because that's that you can ride, you can ride that shit. <laughs> Maybe phrase that a little better next time because people also fucking twist that. Yeah, don't say like you'd ride on like. <laughs> <laughs> right. I used to ride on their back, specifically yeah. just their back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One Sunday afternoon, it was quite it was quite warm, and I was eight, and I decided to ride on the back of my uncle's goat. There it is. There it is. You got to include all the context now, mate. <laughs> context is key. <laughs> and choose better friends, cat. Straight up. Yeah, me. Flogging. Choose better friends. Um, if you yeah, do, only do your own really illegal shit, right, don't do illegal shit yeah, for other people. Are, you're all good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And look, the yeah. friend, your friends won't ask you or put you in that sort of position to begin no, with. No, a true yeah. friend will never do that. Like, they'd go down for their own this, shit. Can you hold this for me for a weekend, bro? What, you no. ain't got somewhere to put it yourself, lad? Why you got something you can like go that? You go dig a hole out in a bit, like, yeah. out in public fucking property so no one can be fucking blamed for it. Like... Yeah. <laughs> That's why living on a train line is good. You just hang it from the other side of the fence. It's not on your property. It's fucking then on public property. It's never fucking can be fucking linked to you. No matter like how much safety. in this Gawler uh, <laughs> area, she grows these poppies out the front of her at the front of her house on the footpath. She's got like a little veggie plot there. And they grow yep. outside of the property, and uh, she harvests the bulbs from the poppies, obviously for pain management and shit. Um, but yeah, no, it was cool to see that, bro. You know what I mean? I'm like this, this old bitty switched on. Yeah. Maybe she just had a fucking problem. Who knows? But either way, thanks, Nada. Have a good one. Oh well, no, I don't think I'll ever fuck with the uh, papava solvarium or whatever it's called. Um, poppy seeds because like mainly like it's fucking i don't have to grow it milk it and turn it into black tar fucking heroin See, right you, you don't have to bro you can just grow it and then have the opium raw with all the other alkaloids in it how it's supposed to be taken without processing it into something nasty that you're going to end up injecting you can smoke it roll it in a joint you can have it in a tea it's no different than any other pain medication that you get yeah, but then the your dog. dosage is unknown well 100 percent but that's where you can kind of gauge it with this with a fucking stable line such as papaver somniform yeah i don't know so I, I, there's people other... with pain i get if um but I, I mean i have um you know chronic pain issues but i deal with that with other medications so hmm. yeah what so. medication cannabis and fucking <laughs> scolopamine hmm. fucking hell. All right, well, I'm gonna have it doesn't really, it doesn't really fix the pain. It just fixes um, pain acceptance. 
Mm. Like I'm always in some sort of pain. Um, yeah. But it's just very. Thanks, Richelli. I didn't see you sleeping there. Richelma. Now, nothing that I can't fucking get over. You know what I mean? It's, I've always had it. And I just fucking always deal with it. Mm. Smoke weed, be rock. <clears throat> New South Shroom season up. Yeah, New South Wales is popping off. They've got fucking everything up. Yeah, but nah, fucking. Maybe Vicky and, uh, there, Vicky and Tazzy might, might have something going on right now, but fuck all in South Wales, not enough rain. I think oh, it'd yeah, be good to do, do like walking through the bush, bro, instead of doing like. How to find suicide mushroom in Australia or identify it. Just do like, like LZ said, he's going to do like nature docos and shit. You know, just go through the area and then when you stumble across it, just add it in. But I think getting that whole landscape would be fucking crazy. Because you've got the old growth forest that is still around, eh? Yeah, mate. <laughs> we have, we got some conservation land as well, some nice spots in South Australia. I sell opium seeds on eBay. Drop the mic. Drop the fucking yeah. drop the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. I've never tried it, so I can't really talk about it. But so it's just one of those things. I I hear a lot of bad stuff when people fuck around with seeds that aren't sourced very well. So like going on a fucking coals and getting a bag of fucking seeds, making a tea, and then getting a bunch of the bane. Um, and I haven't been yeah, sick. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I thought it was the back, but it could be something else. Mike might know. But yeah, if you're working with, like Julian said, if you're working with a stable line and something that people have been working with for a long time, I don't see anything really wrong people with People have it. cultivated and done their own crosses with poppies as well they've made their own species just like mushrooms just like weed yeah that's you can do it with playing with devils though that's that's a yeah that's a that's a very you know every plant has a has a god you know what i mean and yeah, um, not everyone's growing the poppy for the content so some people would like the colors and the fucking all that shit yeah so. that's true man and i don't know like, i don't know whether like, the poppy gods would be evil i think fucking once mankind change the tower and that's when it becomes evil. Yeah, maybe. I'd be interested in trying it in like a ayahuasca brew or something. <laughs> no, I like quaaludes, so. Quaaludes? <laughs> yeah, man. You got some? Nah. Yeah. Uh, I used to fucking, well, I want to say 2010, the last time I fucking saw them on the streets. Fucking hell. Yeah, oh, maybe yeah, 2015. Yeah, 2015, last time I saw them <coughs> around. Mm. They're good. They make you feel like you're just sleeping on a cloud. It's just super sedative. S- uh, sedative. Sedative. Yes, yeah, try to say sedative. super sedative. Sedative, yeah, they're super sedative. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a good tongue twister. What was that? <laughs> what was doing? What does that for you? Fucking quailu. What does that for you? Quailu, ah, oh. yeah, yeah, that make me just feel like I'm sleeping on a cloud. No, I just buy bitch which in general. Yeah, that's the whole category of quailudes, anyway. What's um, drop, mate? Do you, you got Facebook, man? Hit me up. I might want some tobacco seeds. I'll trade. It's in the I'm US, bro. It's one thing that's dropped down. Ah, a couple of years, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, right. Right. in the US, bro. It's in the US. It's dropped a lot. Not a family of drugs you hear that much about anymore, barbiturates. Yeah, not really. But when you're on the forums and stuff, you read what's out there, what's in the streets. Like, this is the thing. Oh, they used to be a lot more common on that. It used to be a lot more common on the streets two decades ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like since the markets, like I've seen the fucking, I've seen the rise and fall of the drug markets online, bro. Just see, like curiosity, seeing what's out there. You don't make a purchase, you haven't broken the law. Um, 
But when you actually see what's out there and what's in the country, there's not a whole fucking lot at the moment. Um, but that's because Christmas has just finished, you know what I mean? Now, like, usually around tax time, people do fucking huge orders international. Christmas and fucking, um, I don't know what other, New Year's people get their drugs. Around Christmas, New Year's and all that. I reckon it's got me in the fucking smoke when I fell out of the tree, JP, in Melbourne, fucking in the 90s. I only had one cone of the shit, mate, and then I was laughing at my mate who tried to have a second cone of the shit, and then fucking just because I laughed and tilted my head back giggling, I, I lost all sense of balance and fell out of a fucking tree. I <laughs> 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 the land on my head. <laughs> you in the tree, cone? Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> you had any head yeah, yep. Fucking right. Tidalberg train station. I know exactly where it was too. Tidalberg train station. There was a big ass willow tree that fucking they topped, so it grew into a big platform. So what, thing where so they what, topped what is, the branch what is, went what is Opium like just euphoria. Or? Yeah, it's not. It's like like oh, it's definitely like a warm fuzzy cloud to sleep on as well. Oh, what? It's just warm, being cuddled in a warm blanket. Fuck. Smoke it, don't shoot it. <laughs> it's a dangerous fucking drug because it's so fucking good. Yeah, that's like anything, bro. And that's why that's what pisses you off when people go, These are so bad for you, they make you feel horrible, sure. But then when people get on it, they go, What the fuck? Everyone lied, and then the come down comes, you know what I mean? Oh wow, this is awesome, bro. And then like that come down comes, they go, Oh, have another toke, and then that headache goes away, bro. Yeah, that's, drop the mic yeah. in South Oz, bro. What do you mean? Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, bro. Fuck it up, man. I'll trade. I've got heaps of shit to trade, man. Hell yeah, bro. I've got some nice. Hook us all in. Hook everybody <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I want to grow some tobacco. So. You can see it's a free tobacco. trade. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I'm not fucking keen on doing it in my area because it was the fucking biggest tobacco sort of grown area in Australia. Fucking yeah, you'll get fucking <laughs> yeah. yeah, heaps of people still try it around here. For a couple of people in Shepherd and not long ago got done for a couple of like dickheads try and go hundred acres worth of tobacco, and I wonder how they try and think they're going to pull that off. Take me to court for one plant. I go, look, man, I smoke tobacco. Um, yeah, so going a couple's not going to worry, but fucking peak, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why the fucking crime syndicates haven't done that. Like fucking just like in wartime when fucking armament factories, you don't try and build it all in the one factory. You break a factory down into ten little ones, uh, and fucking then bring it all together to assemble at the end. Like I don't know why fucking yeah, the tobacco industry hasn't tried to do that. Get a whole heap of cunts just growing like ten acres instead of one person trying to grow hundred. Yeah, don't be trying to do that. The, whole, the chicken story, man. I keep coming back to it. If everyone had a chicken, everyone had a cannabis plant, everyone had a tobacco plant or whatever plant they wanted, you know what I mean? Everyone had a bit more land, a bit more fucking knowledge. I don't want that. You know? I don't want that because that fucking doesn't encourage people to circulate their money. You know, and a bit more time because we need time as well because you're working a 40 hour working week. It's pretty well, hard. Lads, well, the eclipse, you know the eclipse is at 2 30 this morning. Like, Next uh tomorrow morning, bro. Two thirty AM. Are you gonna be up? Yeah. We're That's gonna watch not. this shit live, bro. We're gonna watch this like stream this eclipse, bro. Something scary. How are you gonna now. stream? Are you gonna stream a video feed of it? Oh I'll, I'll ring I'll ring fucking ruthless cannon, bro. NASA. He'll do it. I'll, I'll ring do NASA up, bro. They'll sort it out. Yeah, but it's not as good like it's true if it's a TV screen then though. No? Like it's not you gotta live look at it look at one live. I'm not really concerned Do I about this thing. On, Do I need to put glasses on for that? Do yeah, you I don't reckon you do. But, yeah, who knows? Apparently something skits is supposed to happen, bro. And, like, I was I was on the phone call before, and uh, I was having a chat, and the old mate was like, oh, no, nah, the eclipse happened 2.30 this morning. Nothing happened. I was like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, hold up, nah, they're a day behind us. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's on the 8th. Yeah. And then I check the date, but yeah. get this. Get this. The fucking thing said 2.36 a.m. on a Monday. It's Monday now, bro. Doesn't it mean Tuesday? It's fucking... No, 
Up, there it's still there Monday. Oh, true. So why would it be Monday, 2.36 a.m.? When it says the eclipse is at 12.06 in the middle of the day. It's Tuesday for us. Uh, well, it if says we're using in... world time, then what? Is it UTC oh, or what? Because if it's UTC, it's world time. It's going oh, yeah, on Zulu time. Uh, the world, the world's broken up into time zones. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, that's it. I'm pretty sure. So the whole thing with the glasses is, if you want to watch the whole fucking thing, you want to watch the sun go over the moon and all right, you're just staring at the sun for twenty fucking minutes. Yeah, you know that's gonna do you a little bit of damage. Um, but if you just want to watch the three to four minutes where the sun passes the moon, the actual solar eclipse, you're fine. And also, like, will we even see it? Can we? No, we won't. It's not time. We don't, we don't have another full eclipse, like total solar eclipse, until twenty thirty six. So, like, I'm not. I'm, we can't see it outside. So, what's the point? No, there's five every year. It just depends on what part of the globe you're on, whether you get to see them. Yeah, but we won't get one until twenty thirty six. Yeah, that's what they reckon, JP. Cash for society by twenty thirty. And I reckon I'm just gonna have. Like, nah, they can get fucked. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be the way it goes. <laughs> Looks like I'll be bartering. And they just fucking. Yep. You know, like in 2030, 20, 20, I'll have enough sheep that I can barter, trade whatever the fuck I need. They can get fucked. Yeah, you know what's just happening in the UK, though? Wait. Community of small country people to stop using cash when everyone wants cash for their fucking produce. Do you know what's happening in the UK, though? What's that? You have to get your chickens registered, bro. They can get fucked. Or get a fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what's in China? Get fucked. Yeah. Watch the mass civil civil disobedience. My chickens are free range, mate. I don't. They just come and go as they please. <laughs> They're just one of God's creations, wandering the earth like all this. Mm-hmm. To like my farm, and I like feeding them. Mm-hmm. Choose them to stay. You know, I'm also a. No, I gift it from seed. I, like yeah, I gift it from some. <laughs> I gift them from some seed every day, and they choose to stay. <laughs> That's right, and I'm an avid hunter, and that makes hunting really easy. Lots of lots of eggs, and I'm a good forager. There's lots of eggs around the property for well, me. You should like growing some subs in wombat shit, bro. Yeah, I saw that post. That was pretty solid. I've seen them growing in uh, wombat and cow. I've, I've seen them in cow shit before, and in sand. Sand subs. Oh, I've got another cone in there now. I'm going to get ready for this fucking doctor's appointment. So. Oh, nice. You're going to use his stinky finger. Not the smelly nice. finger. Yeah, I've only got 40 there. minutes to wait now for my appointment, too. 145. Oh, we'll probably be a lot for this whole time. I'm waiting for the lady to get back with her fucking annoying fucking family. Hmm. Nah, I'm kidding. I've got to fucking talk to a little brother. He's been fucking been a dumb cunt. Gotta set him in line. And the other one is a bit useless. So I don't know if he'll even be helpful. But the problem is he doesn't smoke weed at, at the farm that he lives at because his parents don't really smoke weed all day. Oh, but he's gonna come here and want to smoke weed, right? And I'm a big I'm a big advocate for if you're gonna smoke weed, you gotta do something. Fucking earn that dopamine. I get up every day. Do my fucking animals, fucking do my gardens, fucking, you know, then I smoke. You're going to be yeah, here. It's a special type of native psilocybe that grows out of native kangaroo yes. animals. Right, kangaroo poo. Shit. Grows out of rabbit shit too. That's a sort of allergy. Right. That'd be different. Well, so like, mushrooms will actually one. grow from anything that they can. Um, yeah, they, they're not actually. I remember watching on. Yeah, I thought. When watching that, my old mate Tom's fucking channel, when they're hunting, they quick and found one little one, and his mate was saying that it was something pretty rare or so something so like that. that. Little tiny little... Oh, lads, I'll catch you after.
I'm a Amazon drop this point. Yeah, I found um he was about a touche. Um I was I found some like as far as fucking like pretty far north where they're not normally found and it just turns out that they're everywhere and people don't look for them because they're so tiny. Always looking in my fingers and sheets. I just can't help tracking and doing that kind of thing anyway, so I'm always looking at it and stuff. Yeah, fine. Fresh. We going for a hunt next uh, this year, Mike. You're local. Fucking, I think LZ was talking about doing a fucking boys trip out to Gambia. Fucking mad camp, mad fucking take some LSD, mushies, whatever. Fucking mad Szechuan. Fucking, you know, five, ten of us, whatever. Fucking whoever wants to come, be sick. I'd be able to get away on the weekend for that. Hey, fucking, hey. They're good mm-hmm. heaps of fucking land to track out there too you know flow oh, just fucking endless oi there he is i'd fucking no game mate no game fucking ears are burning good to see you mate yeah fucking gotta do something with the boys fucking this year even if it's not game fucking nice camp fucking sashroony fucking drop some tabs and all that just fucking have a skits time I didn't really do fucking much mushies last year, you know. Need to reconnect with the forest, you know. Do a fucking proper dose and just fucking hug a tree. Online Legends, almost an hour live. Mm. Man, sorry to hear drop. I'm prepping a five pause dinner for 50 people by myself. Master shift, master shift. He's just putting snags on the barbie. Yeah, um, you know, first course, fucking shrimps, shrimp cocktails. Second course, fucking crackers. <laughs> That's the best case scenario, brother. <laughs> you fucking you should have got a lawyer straight away bro love you <laughs> hopefully we fucking uh panda will fucking suss out a trip with rashi and fucking a couple of the boys to do a fucking get some tags do a hunt or you fucking <laughs> Hopefully before you have to fucking get the bracelet, you know. Oyster promised duck lamb cheese. Look at this cat. Look at this cat, bro. In a pie. In a fucking pie, not an oyster pie. Fucking revolting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they love them.
Oh, fucking, I don't know if this will pop up. Got this bitch and then it's got, it probably stank, but I bet it gripped like red tarted kid when you try to take his Legos. <laughs> no. Bro, you're gonna come back with fucking a little nugget, bro. What do you mean? You're already taunt. <laughs> yeah, you're on the PCT cycle, brother. No stress, no stress. Bro, fucking 120 mils of testosterone, mate. It's an bar. You'd be sweet. <laughs> if you're back in, you'd be looking like Tazzy in a week, bro. Prawn ducking. Yeah, it's too yeah oyster, you can't really call oysters like preparing a dish. You just kind of like shuck them, put some lemon juice on the dogs, and chuck them on a plate. And they're pretty fancy as is. And the same with prawns, like, you know, they take 30 seconds if you are cooking them. Duck, you know, duck's easy. Um, I, I butchered one. Yeah, uh, a couple of months ago, and um, it turns out you don't butcher them at like fucking thirty weeks old. Now they fucking don't have much meat on them. Who would have thought the books were right? Eh? <laughs> hey, the books. <laughs> all the fucking all the things that said what years to what weeks to butcher must go be that. Yeah, they said fucking twenty six weeks on Google, mate. No, must go is. Yeah. Well, they're, uh, they're pecking's cross Muscovy. Must look after Muscovy side. All pecking's are just little runty ducks. Yeah, the girls have more pecking in them than the males by the looks of them. Yep. Yeah, the girls are quite small and the males are fucking four times the size of them. But I've, I think I've got one that's got more pecking in the male side because it's a lot smaller than the other males, but it's definitely a drake. My first girlfriend was a bit of a prawn, everything but the head. <laughs> uh, if I can grab a paper bag, grab a bag with a hole in it, mate, you'd be sweet. You don't look at the man or piece while you're stuck in the fire. <laughs> That's what anal's for. Yeah, Mike, um, hit, hit, hit Panda up, hit me up. Um, if you want to grow Cubansis, hit Panda up. If you want to grow some, some, some like more complicated stuff, I'll trade you some fucking cool spores and teach you how to do it. But yeah, fucking hit us up, man. Panda know, knows what he's doing now. He's fucking been doing it for like fucking six, seven months. He's a fucking Cube master, master of the Cubansis. Or just fucking hit Fratell up. Fratell has like 10 years worth of mushrooms that he's never going to take. <laughs> yeah, definitely get onto the Lucid Gates, man. Like... Just give him some cultures, man. Like, he's local, bro. So, if he wants to get started, just do what I did. Fucking, here's some cultures. They're all clay. There you go. You get to it. Yeah, Fratel needs to drop his prices, bro. He's <laughs> like, I don't know what I've got. I don't know what that worth. I'm like, nah, bro. I'll send you a chart. Love you for tell. I know you're there. Yeah, my first girlfriend was a um, yeah, she was a cunt. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Still have love for her. She's the fucking mother of me. She was my child.
just need to buy like a decent pressure cooker and like a tote and some alcohol, bro. I'll give you a sweet. couple jars. You know, just save all your fucking your, your carry sauce jars. Makes make fucking grain jars out of that. Pretty easy. <clears throat> like, I can't believe like I, I, I moderate a lot of groups like about growing and fucking all that. And man, like I can't believe how many people fail so many times. Like, dude, like you know what the fucking definition of insanity is? If you're doing the same thing every time and getting the same results, maybe it's the thing you're fucking doing. You know, if you fucking if you're sterilizing your brain properly and your cultures are clean and um and your transfer techs are clean, like your sterile techs clean. Yeah, I'm fucking up. It's a three step scenario. Monty's gone. It's just me. I'm gonna drop another link. Anyone wants to join? Stay good, eh? Monty's back. You must have passed the Wi Fi boundary. Uh, I don't know. Man. I was on the phone, sorry, actually. No, nah, you're, you're all good, mate. Uh, the medical appointment wasn't meant to be until. Two o'clock or ten past two, but she must have been early. She just rang then, and it was meant to be a video, video thing. But she ended up just ringing. That was oh, quick no. as though. Yeah. Easy. And she's like, "Yeah, so how much you want? How much you need?" Yeah. She said, it's "Oh, like, yeah, you understand everything here." And I told her that I like because she like, I had to tell her that I was already a cannabis patient. I'm like, "Yeah, I understand the uh, cannabinoid system, entourage effect with terpenes." All that. He's like, oh, yeah, all right. And I'm happy to give you those scripts then. You can see them in 10 days. So, 10 days time, no more pain for medical work. Fucking beautiful, mate. No that's, that's what you I'm glad that they're doing that for the vets, man, because, man, that probably takes a lot of stress off of fucking, you know. You, you, you might have a farm and fucking all that, but fucking money is tight for everyone. Um, and fucking and not having to pay for the medical is going to be a fucking blessing. Definitely. Especially with that fucking horse, mate. Horses aren't cheap, gun. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got money to pay. <laughs> yep. You got any fields that like, don't get eaten by the cows? Oh, you yeah. Rotate? I can rotate and stuff like that. And so, so can you really look and get? Do you have a baler? No, I don't. No tractor or baler. That's what I want yeah, to acquire. Might, might be worth it. Yeah, getting a little trap dory. Yeah, that's what's on. Because fucking hay is not cheap, man. I've been looking at it like, fuck. and my uh, my old man's got some property that he doesn't have any animals on. That's got heaps of grass. Oh. Yep. Why the fuck get a baler just to steal your hay cum? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it might even be cheaper just like instead of doing that, like if you only got a little spot, right, to get some money in a hay contract to come in and cut it and bail it for you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, true. There's a fucking baler like down the road from me. <laughs> Angus <laughs> hay bales. So. I really should hit him up because he probably fucking sell them to me cheaper than what I'm going to get him for. And it's just down the road. Definitely. Um, we're just about, about like, a lot of people that grow hay like that. that was, yeah, they want to sell it by the semi trailer load usually when they're fucking hay growers like that. Yeah, that's fine. Realistically, if I can get it by the semi trailer, like because the mother in law well, she lives in a area, like she had no hay, um, so she's been used and like the, she's finally got her sheep accustomed to the big fucking hay, was, like the big bales. But the shit, they won't eat the outside that's been rained on, they'll only eat the insides, so they've slowly been working through that. Um, but she can only get like square bales for 25 bucks a bale locally, which is a fucking raw. Um, yeah. I get they used to be like $12. six fucking dollars for the little square ones. Now they're like twenty five. I got to I got to twelve bucks at the, at the lady down fucking at the beach that I go to. Um, yep. You'll see you go straight to the, yeah, you go yeah. straight direct to the hay growers and stuff, and with the route and the trailer load, you can usually get them for about six to ten bucks each. Then 
Yeah, that's basically it. She has a baler. She bought a baler like fucking last year with a hubby. She's got a fucking shitload of land and not many animals. So she's got a lot of hay. Um, nice. And yeah, she's been selling it for 12 bucks a bale and selling a lot of it. Like I started going to her four months ago and she had two full sheds and now she's got like half a shed left. Yeah. Oh, nice panda. Louis Vuitton, mate. I've been wanting to work with those ones because they look fucking mental. They've got like cool weird caps on them. But yeah, if I can get like a fucking set, like a trailer load and then like for cheap enough that it's worthwhile, uh, then I can offload some of it to the mother-in-law for cheap as well. Because she's got fucking six sheep or eight sheep. Um, and they just, they, they smash through the hay because I don't have any grass. And yeah. Whereas I've got grass, like I've got my, my, my winter grass has already started coming through now, so. It's only because my sheep are greedy cunts that they've gone in and stealing a duck's food. <laughs> yeah. kind of so like now, I, now I feed the ducks at night. When they're, when they're locked in their pen. Because I can't have them out at night because the foxes. Yeah. But they're good. They're good. Like even the chicken. Because I have one of the chickens free range right now. I'm going to do some fencing over the weekend. Over this weekend to get the fucking chickens in because they can walk through the fence it's, it's not a big deal if you chase them and they jump over the fence because they're scared that's fine but if they're walking through the fence they'll just do it and like and they'll go explore yeah <laughs> so i just gotta fuck all that um and then i can free range the other ones um but the one rooster that is free range is chill he's just like fucking he thinks he's a duck he hangs out with the ducks um but the ducks put themselves uh, away about eight o'clock and the, and the rooster puts himself away about eight o'clock too so I just go out there and shut the gate now. I don't even fucking. I don't even need to be wrangled. Okay. The chook fish should become like that too. Uh. Yeah, they will once they used to it. Yeah. The problem is the fucking. Once I have both pens open, the ducks really like the but, chicken pen and they really like the duck pen. Yep. Yeah. It's like you can't stay in there. It's fucking filled with duck shit and you shouldn't be eating that. Where the ducks feel to feed, so they don't give a fuck. Hmm. I gotta get rid of fucking two of the drakes, man, because I've got uh, six females and four males. There's too many males. Yeah. So I'm gonna get rid of two males and get two more females. So it's uh, eight females to two males, four to one. Yeah. So it's just like, what do I do? Like, no one wants to buy Muscovy Drakes. <laughs> uh, you know? Uh, so it's like, well, I kill them and they have no fucking meat on them. It's just a bit of a waste. Or I'd get like fucking 30 more female ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm not opposed to. Well, I'm not opposed to that. It's gonna build another pond. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find someone that will take him. Bait, Tate. And we got hooks to gram in the chat. Good to see you too. Legends, mate. Absolute bloody legends. Hope right, everyone's doing good. Fucking we got we got Frack Centurion over here. Stream feet ceramics. Who's this? Curamix. Yeah, fucking good to see you, mate. I can, this one's for you, mate. First time seeing you in the stream. Fucking hold on, mate. It's cheeky fucking cheeky bugle. Cheeky bugle. Hope everyone's having a fucking pretty good Monday. You know, if, you are, if you're not baked yet, I'm sorry. You need to be. You need to fucking catch up with me. You need those slip eyes. And I'm just fucking doing advanced mathematics as well.
Sick. Look here, mate. Jump up here. I want to see that fucking... I want to see that ball fucking end, mate. I want to see the shine. Fucking rides my day. <laughs> I want to see the Buddha shine, bro. I could say that, mate. Hooky, you in some orange pants and no shirt in a Shaolin temple. Just. But I don't know if you could be quiet for that long. So. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Uh, <laughs> Dude, um, I think I can be quiet longer than anyone. I oh, to be, yeah, I, I'm actually practicing the opposite to that though. So, which means to be heard. You force yourself to talk. It's a it's a form of med meditation in itself to say little, but to say more, but to say more is even more powerful than to say little. Some would say, say little, easy. And I say, so little said. Yes, many, I but I say, those who don't speak, don't know. Those who don't say, only know after someone else has spoken, only think. They're, they're wise to make out as if they know until somebody has spoken the knowing. And then they know and presume that they are wise because they didn't say so. Those who say so know better than those who say not. That's what I say. Daily cookie um, wisdom. Beautiful. Daily. It makes logical sense. But one day I'll practice silence. And this, this is where virtue is where you have to be virtuous. Have to can't be silent. This is a fucking ticket. You know, this is a host. And basically, you got to think of this as a radio show or video, right? So fucking no one likes dead air. All right, if you're fucking listening right. to the radio uh, uh, in the car and no one's talking to you, what the fuck? Oh, same here. You got to keep the conversation moving, keep it going. Otherwise, people get bored. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's time and place for time for, for silence, like the movie theater. Shut the fuck up at the movie theater. <laughs> I don't go to the movie theater because I think the concept is fucking stupid. But anyways, yeah, too expensive anyway. <sighs> no roots worth it. Now, but seriously, I, I, there is a, a, always a contrast to what people do and say or don't do. And there's, there's always these things about people who talk about things that aren't. They say, well, you mustn't be or you must be. But I could also say for the other side, for one who doesn't speak, the one who says little and is smart enough to say that he knew that after someone else claims or, or makes a statement to, towards it. The people who have said nothing have done nothing but learn and claim, claim to be the one who has spoken or to know but to know is to say you know anything but if you haven't said it it exists only in your head that's why it's a balancing game book you must you, you, you got to listen and speak you don't learn if you don't listen but you don't you don't know anything unless you speak and you affirm it and have that conversation well, i think i agree so, all of these non-talkers they don't have a say. It's true. It's true. Those who don't speak have no say. Have no voice. They hear themselves, mumble to themselves. The only voice they hear is their own voice. Nobody else does. <laughs> Definitely a fine balancing act. Right? It's going to definitely get a slap in the head for talking when you should have been listening. Yeah, you can, but you can also get a slap in the head for slapping someone in the head for talking. You can also have your ass kicked for slapping someone in the head just for talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can also have that turned on you. Someone could slap someone because that's just a thing of superiority, you see, Monty. 
But you see, the one who talks about the person we're talking about, how's it superior? How's it it superior if you're going to take it out of context now? Like, because I didn't put any context to the thing. I just said, if someone was fucking talking, right, and you're going to make something up now. No, because, well, I agree. But the thing is, he wasn't talking. You weren't talking about talking. You're talking about the next level, which is no longer talking. To say, well, okay, you can hit... And I can't respond because you're hitting because you said something. I didn't say anything oh. about not responding. All I said is uh, you can get a slap in the head for talking when you should have been yeah. listening. That's yeah. all I said. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, but that would what imply. What No, that would imply <laughs> what you said was to imply that if you say the wrong thing, <laughs> someone might slap you in the head, which is exactly. true. Exactly. Yeah, but exactly. And when you saying yesterday right. or the day before, you'd punch people for just snarling We're and making a you. face. Yeah, that's even that's right. worse. Yes, but <laughs> that's true. It's true. The difference is between nah, completely different scenarios. Completely different. Abel <laughs> is, is, is a fucking is a madman. He's just. Left, right, oh, it's not that. Everyone. It's not that, but the case studies mean <laughs> nothing. That's all. It, we can't refer to case studies in everything in society. But this is the what society has gone to, referring to case studies and past incidences with the other people and other. I get that. I understand it. I don't like it. I don't even know what we're talking about, boys. I looked at my phone. <laughs> the escalation, the escalation between someone saying something is how do we get people to be able to say what they want without being hit? That's a, you that's don't. A, a, you don't. You, that's you the can. fucking oh, repercussion of having free speech. Yeah. If you say the wrong no, thing, no, it get, isn't. You know. No, free speech <laughs> is to be able to say it without the fear. No, that's bullshit. No, that's, that's bullshit. bullshit. No, then you, then you're a hypocrite. No, no, you don't you get to go around say. disrespecting no, people has, or their wives you know, or girlfriends and not say. get fucking slapped. That's why the world is full of dickheads because they don't get no, fucking slapped for you, stupid no, shit enough. No, listen, it's because people like you guys put your hands on people that you have no right to touch. No, okay, no, you have no right to touch it. If you do, yeah, you've got no right to speak to me how you if like was, them. Like, if standing. that's the case, if you've got like that's double C, you've got no right to speak to our people how you think you want to. If you think they've got no right to slap you down for it, uh. well, two people, yes, about I can, I can talk about, but I can't talk to. Like, I, I wouldn't expect if I spoke to you that way or you guys. I that's what we were saying. Get away with it. But I'm not speaking that way to you guys. And so, but now you're changing the meaning of the conversation in the start, like. No, because it would never refer to you and I or us. It never refers to it. It's referring to a scenario. That was. It's not innate to the freedom of consequences. You have you have but, the freedom yeah. of everything that is still there's consequences. Of anything. Okay. Like, you have yeah. the freedom. You have but the that's not the theory of relativity. That's not based on relativity. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's not based on. Okay, here's 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 the cause yes. and reaction. I'd Action reaction. A cause and reaction is not one says something and another person does something. That action, his action or one's action, does not rely on someone's word. It, 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 this is where we lose control. No, not at all. It, it, it came up to my face and you said something about my message. Control, I told whatever. you. What? Well, that's rightfully that's really that's so. Fact that's, that's fact of yes. what? That's not what we're talking about here, though. Yeah, it is. You know, that, that's, a t- that's a no, because it's an attack yeah, on still, someone. You're still freedom to speak. You can say that about my missus, but I have freedom to flog you. If yeah. you're saying, if you're saying, if yeah, I get no, upset, no, I don't, I don't like it because like you're, you're saying you. I don't like this because you're, you're referring. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Now you're or referring you're a saying, very serious consequence to and onto me, which I don't. Like. I get that. No, scenario. it's just being put it's into context. Yeah. It's just being used in context. But what you have to understand is once that's where the definitions are, right? Once so everyone else is going to have their own. Yeah, it all comes to the context. It yeah. all comes down to context. You've got the free will to say anything you Usually, like. That's right. But I've got free will to like what. Here's how it works. Well, that doesn't yeah. absolve me of consequence either. If I hit somebody, no matter what they say, I'm no. still getting done at the same. Yeah. Right? right. That's right. where everyone has yeah. a free will. Consequences are ob- ob- observed of that free will, right? You can definitely yeah. say whatever you want, right? And that's up to me. I can also not hit you, right? But that's also yeah. my ego, my pride, my whatever the fuck's going on in my head. Right? There's a better way to handle it. Yeah, like, you know, the bigger man walk away. 
I'm not the bigger man. I'm never being the bigger man. You say something that I don't like, I'm probably going to fucking smack you. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. I would expect that. Nothing. But less I, also, than I also think that that's a lesson too. Like, people fucking need to learn that lesson, and you need to learn fucking when to say what and how to say what and how to act. You know what I mean? And I think that's a, 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 a societal complex. You know what I mean? As a society, yeah. we have those things, and as men, we have those lines, right? There's certain lines where, like you said, oh, I'd, I'd accept that, right? But the coppers don't. The coppers don't accept you flogging someone because they said something then. Right. The law doesn't accept that. Yeah, so those consequences so, are always there. Consequences are not. So what you're gonna do is get into their head and make them go crazy without doing a little effort. Make them try to hit you first. Around. Well, not even that. Make them hit themselves, mate. Make them hit themselves in the head. Really, toy with them. Once I found someone that I know hates me, you just go hit them with your purse, Ricky. That's all you got to do. I know what's harm on me. I'm gonna torture them in ways they don't even know what's going on, and I, without doing anything, you know what I mean. We have no, there can't be any love. Bro gets their address, he, get, he hooks them up with the Johos, he hits, he hits them with all of those fucking spam emails. Not like that. Not like I've that. done that to somebody, that poor cunt. He messaged me. He's like, can you just stop sending people to my house? <laughs> like, don't send me your address, bro. I won't hook you up with all of the we, fucking religious things. <laughs> it doesn't mean, like, we all know the context, you know, and usually when you growl someone like this, it's in a context. Obviously, if someone's going, oh, fuck, I've had a bad day. It's not going to smack them. It's not like that. It's like when someone comes at you and aggressive. Don't give a person a chance to give them a chance to, to be aggressive around you. You know, at all. Don't language. give them that. Like we, we read body language subconsciously. If someone comes at you, even without speaking, you can tell if they're in an aggressive mindset. And even if they're going to hit you, um, don't even especially ask if you. Yeah. Uh, and, and some people either, well, it's fight or flight. Some people freeze up in that situation and get knocked the fuck out. And some people, you know, hit first. You know? And that's just you know, this is a bit of experience too. You gotta, you have to be be put in that situation a fair number of times to understand. You know, oh shit, his his left shoulders dropped. He's about to swing his fucking right arm at me. I need to fucking get this way and you know do something about it. Um, you know, that just comes down to fucking being in those situations. Um, but yeah, if you're talking I mean, about online, if you're, talk, if you're talking about online. More. Uh, you could probably, I, I, you could probably get away with saying that. You could probably say whatever the fuck you want on in an online context, and I don't really think you should no. be able to get away with just going and yeah. assaulting somebody. What goes around comes around with them cunts. They're, they're the kind of cunts yeah. that usually we hear about that top themselves. Well, that's, that's the thing. Normally, mm -hmm. I get, I can get mad, and then I'll get like, oh fuck, and I'll get your address and come down there. But by the time I've done all that work, I've gotten over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's where karma will get you. Yeah, but it's like, am I really gonna do it? get a fucking three month assault charge for some dickhead that's upset me online? Nah, not really. Someone heard me say, man, it's like, it's, I a, have it's a different story when it's you know when when people are face to face, man, because you know what I mean. Like anything can happen, bro. And that, and that respect level is always so much different in person. You know, it's strange. <laughs> Yeah, you don't see those fucking uh, internet keyboard warriors in, in in the real in the real life because they're quite little sad saps of humans that can't fucking speak yeah. up in real life. And they have no friends because, and they're always the type of people that can't see their own children because they beat up their ex mistresses. And nobody, you know, the only real people they can fight is women. Yeah, piece women. of fucking shit. They, they can't even fight men. They can do it on the internet, right? But they can't in the real world. They just drop to women. The actual physical confrontation they drop to women or weaker people, children, people, people half are, you know, mentally, yeah, they drop down to the easy targets. Those type of men. Yeah, I'm terrible now. I used to get like really mad, like when I was younger. Like I had a really bad anger problem. And, like, and my missus, ex missus, would really fucking push buttons and I fucking never fucking never once uh, fucking got mad at her but I'd always go outside and we had fucking uh, I had a fucking boxing fucking whatever fucking little boxing bag and fucking man the amount of times I would just fucking miss that and go for the brick wall behind it when I was pissed off <laughs> and that, that worked for me but um you know as I got older I kind of just fucking started doing breathing exercises as silly as that sounds and just walking it off man 
having a mad fucking <laughs> phone or two. Like, everyone gets frustrated in life, you know, um, stresses and stuff like that. But you, yeah, fucking, I can't ever understand how anyone could lay their hands on a fucking child or that woman. Like, I, no. I even had like that with an ex that was in all rights really trying to provoke me in that sense, and I never did, you know. So I just don't understand. And I was always like, my mum was the same to me too. My mum was a super abusive fucking person. Would always push my buttons and then she would actually like physically assault me. And um, yeah, I don't know, maybe because of that in my life, I'd always just kind of been able to just put up with it and just move on and then put that anger somewhere else. But And now the anger's just gone. It just as old, bro. I just fucking, I might have a five minute thing where like oh, my head gets hot and it's like, oh, fuck, I need a comb. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go have like a fat cone and then I'll go for a walk outside and just breathe in the fresh air and it's all good. Cheers, brother. Good form, Stephen. This one's for you. Come on. I have disappeared the front of two houses. <laughs> Both those peeps and threatened my house first and left me waiting. I got angry about sitting there waiting to defend my house, so I went to the house and disappeared in front of me. I was pressing some weed last night. Oh, yeah. So happy. I had like an overload, man. Overload. THC. CBD overload, I swear. Do you think um, drugs like methamphetamines and alcohol increase domestic violence? Definitely yeah. meth does. Every fucking house that does meth is usually... So can cannabis. So can cannabis if they don't have any. Yeah. Any yeah. I've I've heard heard with younger that. people. I've found only with that younger, when you're in those 18 to 25 sort of year age, like it affects you a lot more mentally then when you've got a cannabis addiction and you're going without. Like, usually after that, like after you have matured fully in the brain, like it doesn't seem to have that much of an impact on you going without or anything like that, cannabis, but fucking, yeah, meth and all that's a different world. Yeah, right. I've never been a big, never been into the alcohol too much and never ton, done amphetamine. So I'm just curious, fucking. Even when I don't have cones, I don't get too cranky. It's mainly when I don't have tobacco that I get cranky. But I've yeah. fucking, the last time I went, I'm about to be honest. So. Well, I can't believe that I'm fully off cigarettes and I'm fully off vape. Congratulations. From a pack man. a day. When I started well, YouTube, a pack a day for two or three years, every day, a pack a day. Then, then straight to the bakes, and uh, about a year on the bakes, no, no bakes. Yeah, I'm still, Weird. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I smoke my mix, uh, and I smoke about 100 grams in two months. I rarely drink as well. All I do is, is weed. All I do, weed. No, no, yeah, pharmaceuticals. Well, if I get a headache, if I ever get this headache at all for any reason, I'll have yeah. one Nurofen and one, one Panadol together. A Nurofen and a Panadol, half of each dose, and that's it. I might do another one in 24 hours. In fact, yeah, I can't even remember the last year or anything. I don't even have a doctor's name, by the way. How much I go see to a doctor is... Nah. I don't have a doctor's name. I don't know. I don't actually have a doctor. I've never had a doctor, per se. The last time I went was for my appendix. I had to have my appendix out. And um, the issues. I thought it was me fucking me ticker. So I wonder, you guys will probably live longer than me because of all your special tickleizing drugs. 
you got some pickled parts of your body that won't age anymore. They age rapidly to a certain point. Now they're pickled. Bet you guys live longer than me. I can't get it. My, my old lady, she's been smoking weed her whole life, Ziggy. And she's still fucking walking and talking and like, everything's fine. Touch wood. And the thing comes down to mindset. You wouldn't believe it, but I'm actually sweating right now. Sorry, had a phone call. What I miss? Can you, can, fuck, can you raise one eyebrow at a time? I can't. I definitely can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do a hook. I can't do it. I can't do it, hook. It's fucked. I can't do it. I can't do it. You know who can do it? Not many people in the world can do that. You know why? Because they only use half their brain. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Yeah, nah, oh, I've only got yeah. like a quarter of my brain at once, bro. Dude, this is how I do my exercise, all right, before bed. Yeah. This is how you exercise, boys, before bed, if you've got to miss it. Good night, Rattel. Good night, mate. You didn't get it. you got to pull out your two middle fingers. Get it going. I was a bassist. I didn't use these fingers. I used these fingers. Uh, you got it wrong again. You got it again. Yeah, give me a few years and you understand. You're close. You're there. You are there, but you're there. You're close. But if you ain't got the grip, you ain't got yeah, the Yeah, no, you got to you gotta pull, mate. You got to pull. But yeah. Um, <laughs> if, you want, if you want, if you want, fucking, if you want waterworks, yeah, you got to, you got to pull. But yeah. Um. <laughs> But then you gotta change the sheet hooky. You know? You mean yeah, that's why you don't need to change the sheet if you've got a room. Uh, just change room. <laughs> just put towels down everywhere, mate. Just wait. Who we got in chat, boys? Taurus, mate. This sus. I think you're an informant. All right. <laughs> Rattel, mate. How are you? Oh, look. Not too bad. Busy, I'm busy. Tired, man. Just like, it's been fucked recently. I've been sleeping really bad. And like, I've been smoking heaps. And it's just like my breathing hasn't gotten better. So now it's sort of like... It's like stop smoking or die. So I guess I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> like, what are you um, smoking? Oh my. Just wait. What is, are you, is the stuff strong? Maybe you're smoking some strong stuff. Not too it's strong weird. It's like, it's like I've been getting really short of breath. Um, and like I had some THC oh. oil last night. And sometimes when I have THC oil, it makes it even harder to breathe. Like it makes it feel like, like I'm. I can really notice the, my lack sure. of breathing ability, and then that freaks Have me you out. To the doctors, mate. Nah, my doctor's my weed doctor. He doesn't really want to hear about respiratory related problems. Go to another doctor and um, get some scans, dude. Yeah, it's like, fuck. Because <laughs> like. You shouldn't, you don't smoke tobacco, so you shouldn't have like emphysema. Like when I get, like I wheeze, bro, because I've got emphysema. You know, everyone that smokes cigarettes has a degree of emphysema. So like when I get, like when it's cold, I get like a, like a wheeze in my lungs from all the holes. <laughs> all the tar blocked up in the holes, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> But you shouldn't really have that because you smoke straight green. I mean, there's going to be some tar from smoking uh, straight, but if you're vaporizing. It feels like I've just gone to a point where, like, my lungs aren't filtering the tar out of the smoke anymore. Like, they're just absorbing the tar. 
like when I because when I cough, sometimes I cough up stuff that's like um phlegm that has heaps of black stuff in it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good sign. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good sign. That's when you should catch catching it, like catching the tongue, coughing it up. I never, never cough up black stuff, ever, ever. I don't either. I smoke I don't my weed. Either. But, it's yes, exactly. but you're not smoking any weed that you're paying from someone else to get for. You know what's going on. You're not using any PGR in your weed, I can guarantee it, Monty. The weed you're getting, Pratel, someone's growing it with a chemical that you're allergic to. The weed you're smoking is being grown with something that you're allergic to, making you sick. Sounds like a lung infection to me. Straight up. It's, it's, a, it's a pathogen <laughs> or, or something. Because I don't get the black spit. Monty's saying it's good because it's getting it up. But the thing is, it's there, Monty. The whole idea that it's coughing up is there. You're not getting it. I'm not getting it. And I know what I smoke. I know exactly what I smoke. And once, as soon as I start smoking PGR, I know because... I get that black streak in my spit, but if I have to hock up all the time, and there's like a little bit of tar in it, see it? That's poison. We all oh, get bong I mean, brand, yeah. We all, we all get bong bong brand. Doesn't matter what smoke you're smoking on, whether it's your own or fucking medical, you still get bong brand uh, on your lips. That? Yeah, that yeah. brown shit on your lips, right? That's the tar. Yeah. Right, that comes out of your homegrown as well, right? That's what's getting caught by his throat. Yeah, but it does not break him down. It breaks down for us. The other shit that's going in his, it's got... What it sounds like to me, Hookie, whenever I get... I, I've had it before where I cough up black shit, and that's normally when I haven't been very clean with my bong. Um, but I know Fratel's really clean with his bongs, so... Maybe there's he's something safe. in there that's he's safe with his yeah. consumption. I'm thinking he's maybe, like, yeah, like I'm thinking maybe see this somewhere along the lines, right? Maybe you're like, yeah, anti, like your yeah, fucking your immune system in your throat, so maybe overacting, like. Maybe yeah. it's not the weed. Maybe, maybe it's, it's your house. Maybe you've got spores in your house or your carpet. You or it could be a resistant. House. He could have. He could have got it many months ago from a mate's bong. And then yeah. um, not had the antibiotics Maybe. yet, and just right. been resistant. I hope you because you've got some yourself. little slight infection yeah. there. That's why it's getting caught in your throat more because your immune system's fucking triggering you to have a little bit more fucking phlegm and slime there to catch the shit. If you feel in that way, it's a serious something you should look at, I reckon, and see what it is. Because I don't know if the cannabis, I can't say that isn't it, or it is, but what if it isn't the cannabis? You take the cannabis out of your life and it's still persistent and you're playing cannabis and meanwhile you put other things at risk for eliminating well, cannabis. You'd probably be able to tell that by doing what he wants to do, so I'd do that. I'm I'm pretty certain that if I was like huffing campfire smoke, it'd be considerably worse. Like it's any any like level of inhalant seems to be just like really irritating. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe maybe see this fucking um, dear, my theories, long line. Maybe you do have some sort of little respiratory infection going on. I would put my and money on it, man. Like to yeah. some antibiotics on the doctor and see if that helps. And that's why having smoking is fucking just irritating. Bongs bongs a little. Stop smoking bongs and just like even like just stop smoking altogether, if, just to get your mind at rest. Because like if you're gonna constantly be paranoid thinking oh it's, the, it's smoking, because like you're right, any type of CO2 consumption, any type of smoke that goes in your lungs produces tar. Yeah, irritation is not gonna be good. That is gonna irritate your throat. So yeah, you might be better off just like getting off the cones for a while, going to see a doctor that's gonna take your respiratory symptoms seriously, and getting some antibiotics because it does sound to me like some sort of respiratory infection. Yeah, I'd believe it. It's been going on like it's just been it's gone on for like three years now. It's just been getting <clears> worse and worse. Yeah, you should have gone to the doctor like three years ago, bro. But really, it's, it's like kind of like around when I started vaping, I started to notice it um really significantly. Right. Popcorn lung mate on the vapes, hitting them too hot. Like the problem that I had with the vapes was like I'd hit the vape and then before I could like clear my lungs out and get more oxygen in, I'd hit the vape again because I didn't want to waste it. Because I'm spending like $20 a gram on this weed 
and the vaporizer is literally just like a plastic bag that this vapor sits inside of so it's like you, you kind of want to get the most out of it hey ammo welcome um you get out of versions ammo um how long man tomorrow's the night it's uh it's the fucking one of the moons one of the secret moons tomorrow brother a little secret harvest moon let us know if you need extra scissors mate i got lots of scissors <laughs> i don't grow leaves so i don't have much to trim <laughs> don't grow any leaf mate all bud all bud mate all bud everything buddies good buddies good, good buddies stick together buddy love <laughs> <laughs> Buddy love. Gave my girls um, a good feed of potash last night. Mmm. <laughs> it's interesting. How long have you got to go? Yeah, so you've got Fucking longer to go. A while, bro. A while. I feel looking at it at the start of next month, bro. Yeah. Weather permitting. Because it's going to be a fucking pour down coming. Well. I've been waiting for a pour down, but I haven't seen nothing yet. Oh, they yeah, say, I think, the Thursday. I think Thursday's yeah, well, supposed okay. to be a shocker. Right. Well, the, eighth, the, the ninth is the secret moon. By the way, that's tomorrow. For anyone who knows, wants to know what that is, the ninth is the sort of secret moon. It's what I call the secret moon. But the next harvest moon is the 20. I'm not using sulfur. I'm using uh, pot ash from a pot of burn off pile. <laughs> that's just old char. Basically carbon and a bunch of other shit. <clears throat> you want to just grow a plant real big and you don't care what you use. It's not too bad, but fucking, uh, you might as well just use like urea. Just, just fucking urea once a week. Hit it with urea. Just keep fucking boom, 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 boom. But um, yeah, you got to stop that stuff that sooner rather than later yeah so all i've been using is liquid seaweed um and i've been using dolomite um varying amounts not i've been using a very fucking small amount of all of them uh early in this like i'm talking about early in the grow too um fucking epsom salts and i've used that as a um fucking as a foliar spray as well um and then bananas heaps of banana peels and shit like that they get that banana water all the time um yeah fucking what's that sugar fucking molasses blackstrap molasses pot ash and um and fucking uh, seashells fucking beautiful mate now you should see the fucking arm i'm growing on one of them dude it's fucked I reckon it's going to be a fucking, uh, you know, half an ounce fucking nugget at least when I pull it. I got to get out there and do some work on them, hang some lines and then like, then fucking support the fucking uh, heads a bit more because they're going to start getting really weighty soon. Yeah, oh man, I want to put a tarp over them, like a clear tarp because the rain's going to fucking wreck them otherwise. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Just, just speculating, I'm certain that you can overdo the amount of nutrients that you put into the soil. Like, that's not a difficult thing to do. But can you overdo the amount of microbes that you put in the soil? Because if you don't have enough microbes, you're not going to be able to uptake those nutrients into the plant in the first place. So you've, you've seen my soil. It's going to be fucking difficult for me to put too much nutrients in that soil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I went median grass growing soil, not vegetable growing soil, you know. Hookie's pretty, um, Hookie's like, I can't say too much, but he's on old agricultural land, um, which is perfect for farming, which is like, he could basically put a tomato what it in his soil and he'd, he'd be booming. Yeah, I, I, the tomatoes just go crazy, dude. Big fucking giant fuckers. But I don't use it, unfortunately. It's all rock hard. No, you have fantastic soil, man. You really don't yeah, have to it, do too much. It, the, the whole area was a farm. 
before. Yeah, you know? it was all it was all produce farm back in the day. In fact, I tell you this, <laughs> Cedar, What's interesting is if I go out here behind, um, behind the shed, and I dig, I get like um, um, river shells, like river river rocks. So it looks like there's a corner of a river here. So right where I am, out there where that road is, you know. There was a river there. There was a, a lake coming down there, that all down into the wetlands, oh, naturally, right. all the way out. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? That was right here in the yard, because you know where it is. Right? Yeah, they would have, they would have like used that river to like irrigate their soil beds back in the day. So like you'd have fucking primo soil. Frogs. Are, that's why frogs are always coming out from in my yard. Like frogs come out of my soil here. No cheer. Sometimes I just dig. One year I dug a hole and I pulled out the dirt, and in my hands were two frogs. <laughs> big giant. They weren't, they weren't just small frogs, dude. They were the size of tennis balls. So what the fuck is this? And every That's year they come out. In the yard, but the reason is, is because of the, the systems underground and the wetlands and, and the, you know what I mean? The, the whole ecosystem. But it's all concrete now. Yeah, it's a concrete jungle, uh, mate. But you've got a little bit of that fucking soil left, yeah. mate. And it's good. There's a little bit there. But I find crystals, like whole solid, full solid crystals out here. If I dig there, I'm really keen on, I might get in there this year to try and dig a couple of meters down, to see what rocks I can find. Because I am finding a lot of crystals and they are. The so, you know, <laughs> well, get the fucking sluice. Sluice, man. Get the sluice. Like, like these, these are the rocks. These are the tiny little rocks out, right? It's like a corner, an edge where you sluice. But I've got to dig a few meters down behind my shed here. G'day, big boy. How's the harvest? Anyways, have a good day, guys. Hang on. Good to see you. Yeah, I'll be wrapping up in about 10 15. I got the missus and the fucking her brothers coming around, so oh, nice. oh yeah, fucking gotta make sure one of them about fucking doing more shit around the farm and fucking getting his white card and getting the job that's been fucking handed to him young kid just thinks the world should be handed to him but doesn't understand he actually has to work <laughs> he's, he's, he's not like a dumb kid i think he's just fucking watched too much andrew tate <laughs> and the other one is a disabled fella not like super disabled but if he thinks he's just going to come here and smoke weed, he's wrong. He's going to come help me with some fencing before he does anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the missus doesn't want him smoking weed, essentially, because he's not allowed to smoke weed at the farm, like at the in-law's farm. Um, and it would be unfair for him to be just smoke a bunch of weed here and then go back to the farm where he can't smoke. It'd be pretty shit. I'm like, well, if he fucking, you know, does shit, like if he's if he smashes out the farm work, I think he, he's kind of earned the reward of having a cone or two. And I think if that's precedent is kind of set with him, he might do more shit around the farm that he lives at and his parents probably won't give a shit if he smokes a bit of weed. Because he's a fucking 30-year-old man. If he smokes a bit of weed, it shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, it's pretty cool to my family because it feels like even if I was real productive, they just don't like weed itself. So it's like it, they can't see it helping me to do better. They can only see it doing worse because they just don't like it. Yeah, they don't even like her. In laws don't even know that I smoke weed and grow weed. You know, gotta hide the plants when they come around. <laughs> But like, I'm pretty sure like they wouldn't care too too much. Like they would, but like also, what are you gonna do about it? Because like I'm a grown man. You're gonna lecture me about 
cannabis. I'm going to hit you with all the science in the world and you're going to look like a dumb cunt, basically. Yeah, I guess it's just like the facts are that some people are just not going to appreciate other people's behavior, you know? And like, not everyone is open enough to just be in let it be sort of thing. <clears throat> Here's the thing, like if you've known someone for two years, right? You like them as a person. You, you respect them. You think they're respectful. They're nice to you. They're nice to your mother. They're nice to your daughter. You know, they're helpful, right? And then you find out for that whole two years, every single interaction, every single time that you've spoken to them, I've been high as a kite because I'm high as a kite 24 7, right? Do you think that it should in, in, <laughs> it should affect the way you think of me for the last two years and the way you think of me now? If it does, I think that's pretty petty. Same. That's where it's cooked, right? Because I, I have the same experience where, like, if people don't know I'm using, then they treat me normally. But as soon as they they recognize that I'm actually getting stoned, then it's like all of a sudden I'm I'm like a cooked, you know, <laughs> useless, nobody yeah. sort of drug addict. Yeah. Here we came, mate. You got fucking lots of trimming to do, brother. Lots of trimming to do. It's a good spot to be in. It's a good problem to have, mate. Just make it all into half. Yeah, I think that's just stigma too. Like a lot of the older people just think of it as like a brain rotting thing. You just sit there, smoke weed all day. And to some extent, that's true. A lot of people are less productive on cannabis. Um, and I can probably put myself into that spectrum too, especially if I don't have the right medicine. Or if I don't have a sativa for the mornings and I just have indicas, it's kind of hard for me to be as productive as I normally am. But that also comes down to, like, I've got chronic pain issues, and it depends on like, how much pain I'm in that day, too. Um, yeah. You know, and fucking, fucking not a soapbox or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter fucking what my medical issues are. But fucking, you know, like, everyone's got that sort of shit, and no one really, uh, like, acknowledges them, you know? And, like, yeah, we're living in the most depressing time. Like, sort of not really. Like, we're in the most cool time, like, we got all this cool technology, all this freedom, you know what I mean? But then you've got like all these limitations and like you can't buy a house and all this sort of shit. So if you're a young person, you've probably got a slew of mental health issues going on too. Um, and fucking cannabis is like that fucking cure-all, it seems, for a lot of these ailments. You know, you just have a little bit of a toke, fucking de-stress you after work, after a long day of getting fucked by the man. Yeah. For sure. Like, that's the reality a lot of fucking young people are facing is I have to work 40 minute, a minimum of 40 hours a week for the next 60 years they even dream about owning a house like that's pretty fucked up yeah well like a lot of like, we've got a bank on the economy crashing and that's not going to happen because we'll just keep immigrating more people just keep building fucking houses it's on the rain Sound right. Oh, it, it is pretty cool to think that, like, there are a generation of people that they, they did that. They put the hours in. They did work for a considerable amount of time. But now they own, like, four houses. And they only live in one of them. And they rent the other ones out for, like, $700 a week. And then COVID hits. And they put the price up, like, $200 a week per house. It's like, man. Like, yeah. Don't you see how your like your profiteering is sort of affecting everybody? But that's just the way the world is, you know. And the the way to counteract that is by being smarter than the average person. If you're smarter than the average person, you don't need to work your whole life. You don't need to, you know, like drag your knuckles around because you can just take advantage of everyone else's stupidity, which is what everyone else is doing. Everyone who's rich has gotten rich off off the people who didn't know any better. Uh, hard working people, unfortunately. Exactly. Of these people that thought they had to work 40 hours a week for 60 years just to buy a nice house. Unfortunately, and a car you can and become rich. Like, I've, I've explained it to the missus. If I was a more degenerate of a person, I've got ideas. You can make apps that you can sell for millions of dollars, right? Very simple fucking, very simply made. You can pay some guy in India 50 cents an hour to design this app for you, do all of it for you, right? And you sell that app to a developer for $2 million. All right, and it can be the most simple, stupid fucking app. As long as it adds to somebody else's product, it can be sold. Seriously, oh, it's like, think about, think about PayPal, right? 
What what yeah. was the service available before PayPal to pay for things on the internet securely? Like I didn't know about one. And then all of a sudden it's like literally just sign up to this and then you can pay for stuff with your email address. It's like, wait, what? Yeah, there's like no fees either. It's like, oh, okay, that, that's fair. And it's like someone just saw a gap in the market, built something to fill that gap, and then made literally Didn't Elon make million. fucking PayPal? Yeah, it was Elon, Elon Musk. But he did it like 20 years ago, you know? Dude was like 25 years old, and he's just he's like, yeah, like we need some way of easily making payments online without using credit card. It's like, okay, here you go. <clears throat> yeah, and it's a very simple concept. It's an online wallet where you fucking deposit from your bank there to hold money and pay for shit. Exactly. Super simple. Just like um, yeah, how TikTok like, is like. The fucking because... people's issue is we weren't born in the right fucking time, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, like, cryptocurrency, if I was, like, if I had money when I was fucking 12 years old, I would be a crypto millionaire. I was fucking, you know what I mean? I mean, when I was, like, 18 years old buying, or, like, not even me, but other people buying, like, half ounces of weed off, off the dark web, crypto was, like, I mean, Bitcoin was, like, less than $200 each, you know? Yeah. You just buy five of those, sit on them, now you'd literally have, like, half a million dollars. But it's, like, no one... Could have possibly like had the foresight, no, no, no. especially not like some random stoner teenagers to just be like, no. you know what? I'm not gonna buy drugs. What I am gonna do is sit on this and hope that it improves in price in the future. It's like we've never made that decision with anything. We've always just chosen to buy. Weed. Also, like you <laughs> needed those people buying drugs for the price to increase, right? Like it needs people using it. it needs to become an actual physical form of currency and you need people to be using it for that to be worth something well that's uh, unfortunate you can't just have a bunch of people just holding onto crypto because it's worth a lot of money if you're not selling it trading it using it to trade it's kind of pointless as a commodity right it's, it's a, the perfect example but i guess like what i'm trying to articulate is that like right now in the in the current present we're still responsible for our own fate it's like just because we've missed like the opportunity of bitcoin which is oh, know, yeah, literally course. could have made us millions it's like there's still things we could be doing right now that could put us in in that 0.1 percent of, of it, do, it does feel value. like that majority of those ways are unethical though uh ways that would make me feel like a shitty person or not that's for that's what i fall into you know what I mean? Unless you're willing to fucking, or it comes down to the destruction of the planet. If you want to be like into the mining industry and stuff like that, um, and run your own business there, like it's a shitload of work, but you can you can get into the point one percent. You know, you can get into the one percentile uh, doing stuff like that. Um, but I feel like it's not like it's not what humans are even fucking meant to do and do. You know, we shouldn't be fucking working 40 hours a week. We should be fucking foraging for food, dude. I mean, just, just to Building speculate a on, on, on this topic. Shelter. We have... We have, like, people who create things. People who literally, like, you know, like we're talking about PayPal. There's a gap in the market, someone makes something. And then there's people who create art who are literally just, like, off the top of their dome, you know, I'm going to put this down and I'm going to make the big Les show or something like that. And then you've got other people like, like the mining conglomerates, you know, born into wealth or <clears throat> whatever it is. And they, and they run things through the business side where there isn't morality doesn't exist. Whereas it's like, if you want to be um, successful and have morality, then monetary influence is like or monetary gain is sort of it doesn't it doesn't really fit into to being morally correct and because it's like you could have a rich fulfilling life where you're a volunteer overseas and it's like you're not you're not getting anything in return as far as money goes but it's like but you're probably doing pretty good stuff but at the same time it's like you could literally create a company that steals money from the volunteers that go overseas and then use that to start an even bigger company 
And it's like, man, if you can sleep at night doing that, like because you get the nice car and the nice house and stuff, then it's like good for you, you know. But like, not everybody can can make heaps of money off the backs of other people and like and still feel comfortable doing it. It, it is definitely a mentality. It's like it's like when you buy something real cheap because someone doesn't know how much it's worth, and then you sell it for as much as you possibly can to squeeze the next person to the extent that you feel comfortable squeezing them. And it's like some people, they just won't squeeze. They'll just be like, look, I got it for hardly anything. As long as you're going to look after it, I'll give it to you for like a little more than I got it for. So how, how do you develop that business mindset of being like, you know, I, give me that 10 cents change. Like, you know, I'm not going to give you a tip sort of thing, like squeezing every single penny that you have. It, while at the same time, squeezing everybody around you for their, their pennies too. It just it seems like an isolated life. Yeah, so that's that's where it, you kind of fall into. Like, there's four or five categories, right? Yeah, I think I agree. Um, you either get extraordinarily lucky and you're born in, into wealth. You're either an artist or you're a, extremely good at a niche or you're a m really good salesman or manipulator, you know? Um, it's like, no one's just making, no one's no one's just getting there by um, working the nine to five, you know what I mean? You're gonna, you're gonna do more than what everyone else is doing. For sure. Like it's cooked, um, I've been pretty addicted to uh i to buy some secondhand speakers at the moment so I can <clears throat> resell them. <clears throat> but like, not just for the sake of profiting, but for the sake of like trying them out and seeing the difference and knowing what quality is and learning from it. But it's like, if, if you go to work and you come home every day and you buy everything brand new, whatever it is, it's like, you're just you're only getting that set amount of income but if like on your weekends you go and buy secondhand shit and you sell that for a bit extra it's like you're still you know you're still making like an extra maybe like 100 bucks a month or whatever it is but then you recognize the things in our society that aren't regulated like weed for example and it's like hold on i can sell a, a plant for like six thousand dollars when i was making like a hundred bucks like selling secondhand speakers on the weekend you know it's like it's very obvious to see why people fall into these patterns of of like anti-societal behavior it's like, why would you choose to get paid 25 dollars an hour when you could get paid 240 dollars an hour selling drugs you know it's, yeah. it's nonsense it's a nonsense, it's nonsense. List. Or you can yeah if you're smart you can make so much more than that making doing drugs selling drugs but Let's not give my competition ideas. <laughs> Literally work one hour a day, make two hundred and fifty dollars a day. Right? Like, is that is pretty, that nutrient burn? Is that burnt or is that just cannibalizing? I think yellow tips can be a lot of things. It's pretty like light into flower. <laughs> I don't think no, it really needs it. So it probably is just cannibalizing, right? I think it's probably just cannibalizing. It's in a pot. What do you reckon, BBK? You're the fucking madman. You know best. I think it's cannibalizing, but I honestly shouldn't be the one answering that question. Uh, but it's pretty light into flour, you know, last couple of weeks. Thanks a look. Yeah. I'll try to full screen. This looks like a little bit of tip burn. Tip burn? Are you from hate stress or? 
<laughs> Maybe a little bit of feed and overfeed, but that's fine. No. They look healthy. I wouldn't be worried about that at all. Yeah, it's only got like a week or two anyway, so that's in the fucking flower, so I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, oh, look at that fucking beautiful face. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it. The new fruit looks good, dude. You got to grow it out. I can't grow it out. It doesn't grow anymore. Look at these holes. Bro. Oh, my fingers. It's got alopecia. Legit. I probably got rabies or something. So I got a fucking. I got a patch under here. See? Just don't see it. Because I've got fucking all this other hair in the way. Uh -huh. I've got patches fucking here. Fucking here. So fucking there it is. You know, you just grow a patchy beard. It's all good. It is weird having facial hair. Oh, dude, I fucking. I keep sleeping on it like this. And fucking. He's fucking me <laughs> up. I tell you and it's like fucking get out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> well, I told I told the missus I wouldn't shave all year. I'm gonna go cave yeah. in. So fucking we're fucking four months in, no shave. So we'll see how it looks second in December or well, November. Might shave it in November, but we'll see. Has the rain hit too. you yet? Uh, let me have a look. It's cozy. They said it wasn't going to rain today, and then here it is. Yeah, but barely. It's just fucking... It's just drizzling. Just misty. Good for porkers. They'll be out. Uh, so, um, me and SA Elements... Put down Moana selling honey the other day, and some dude came down. He'd been like watching LZ's YouTube channel, and he brought a jar of dried puccini mushrooms, like sliced up dried puccini mushrooms. Oh, legend! Like, they smell nice. Yeah, yeah. Just, just gotta trust him now. But there's no like animators or anything snuck in there. <laughs> uh, there's just like a bunch of garlic tops in there, mate. Hmm. <laughs> They're a bit blue. Anyways, mates, wanna if I can have one more? And we're gonna call it in. Yeah, for sure. Cheers for coming through for Tell, Monty. Uh, we had Hooky coming through and Jay, mate. BBK in the chat. Jeff, Oz Legends. There's so many people I can see right now in the chat. But there's definitely more of you in there. Appreciate you. Thank <laughs> you.